going on guys, Ben Bob's Magic Field here and today I'm going to be showing you the Bertrand change, so let's do this. Okay, so as you saw in that trailer, um, the Bertrand change is a colour change, um, kind of a follow up of the Tenkai Palm tutorial I did um, two days ago, four days ago, I can't remember what I did. But um, this is going to be the colour change version of the Tenkai Palm called the Bertrand change. I personally think it's my favourite um, Tenkai change. Uh, you all know I love the Tenkai Palm and this is just another thing you can do with the Tenkai Palm. So. Let's get into it. Alright, so what you're going to need, you're going to need two cards. Um, preferably two other end cards, like two color, different colour cards. In my personal opinion, I think that works out best. But you guys can do what you want, so <laughs> do what you want. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take two cards, okay? Now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to learn how to do the Tenkai Palm. If you guys do not know how to do the Tenkai Palm, there will be a link down below. Because you need to learn it <laughs> before you can do the burden change, okay? Alright, now, now we're ready to go into the toilet. So you're going to take two cards. You're going to have them like this, just squared up like this. Now, if you guys do not know how to get a card into Tenkai Palm, like this. Now, the way you're going to do this is to get the card into Tenkai Palm is to put your thumb at this end and your two fingers at the other end of the card. And you're going to practice with your middle finger doing this. So just slide in the card like this. This is key. Okay, this is key for the change. Because what you're going to do is you're going to have the thing like this, and you have these two things here, but you're going to hold this card in place while the six of spades is like this. Okay? Now, from this end, it looks completely natural. And you're holding the card like this with your thumb, middle, and index finger, like this. Okay? You've now got the card in ten kai palm. Now you're ready to do the change. So you have it like this, you're going to do this. Okay, and you have that like this, and what's going to happen is the version change is all about squaring up, okay? Squaring up the card. Now, that, that, that was pretty cool, right? So, um, since we're in this position already, we'll do it. So, have the card like this, okay? And you show that you've got the six spades. Now, the way you get into the palm, you're going to have your card like this, and you're going to do this, okay? Just so they cannot see you do it. Or, okay, you can have the card already in Tenkai Palm, either way works. Now the angles are really key in, in, in the burden change, okay? This angle, not good. This angle, this angle is good, but um, like in front of here, like here is not good. Have it like that, right in front of them, like this. Now, the way you're going to do the change, so what you're going to do, is you're going to take your hand over, and now what's going on here is the is this, is the nine of hearts, okay? It's really hard to get like this, okay? Is going to square as you're doing this, going down, okay? Oh, I'm in a bit too fast, I'll do it again. So, you have it like this. Now, I think another way, another way is this, I think this is a better way of doing that. Perfect. Okay, so you get, you, so you can see it more. Okay, so six space here. Okay, you're going to have it like this. Your thumb is going to, um, like, lift up, touch the six space like this, and as you're doing that, you're going to slide down like this, squaring up the card to do the change. Okay? So in all one motion, it should look like this. You're just squaring up the card as you're doing the change, okay? I'll do it again, obviously. I'm gonna do it as many times as you can until I think you guys will definitely get it down. So this may be a long so I don't know. Okay, I can get nine of hearts, six of spades. Now I, what I like to do is I like to have these four fingers closed up, like uh, open, and then you can have, and your middle and, and your middle finger is going to like, just do this so, so the card cannot escape. And your thumb is going to do that as well. Okay, once you're here, take your right thumb, take it, and slide down so it squares up as you're moving down. That was very awful. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so you have it like this. You close your hands. I think you close your hands. Yeah, that's much better. You close your hands. You do the slide as it squares up like this. Okay? Boom. Look at that. So smooth. Such a cool change. And now, and now it's in palm. Okay? And then, boom. Remember, do not have, do not be in this position for long. It should be in one smooth motion, just like that. Okay, it should just be one one fluent motion. Do not be up like here for quite a while, just get it down so you can do it. Okay, but obviously that's, that's what you're going to do first, obviously. It's going to be part of practicing. But once you get it down, you can just slide up like this. Just practice without the card doing this. Boom. Just practice doing that without the card in hand. But when you've got the card in hand, it should look like this. Without the card in, without, and with the card in hand, smack. Like this, very, very smooth burden change, and yeah, so, from the top, let's do it again. Okay, so, your card's like this, 
your fingers are already here. Put these here, do the change. Have it like this. You can have this before or after, whatever. So I like this after because it shows you, you know, it's just convincing. So you have it in this like this. Nine o'clock, nine of hearts. Slide up as you're sliding up to get the six of spades in hand. Place it, it's quite hard to find the angle there. And as you're sliding down, it's going to square up on its own. You can do it, you can do either do it two ways, okay? Fast or really slow. Now the really slow part is probably better because you can get more time to square it up. But if you can do if you've mastered it, you can just do it really quick. I've not yet mastered it, but this is pretty much much the rough tutorial of the burden change. But for now, that will be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. Hopefully, this has helped you out with the burden change a little bit better. Um, one of the best moves in card magic, obviously. And it's definitely worth learning move in. Not really a must learn, I would say. Kind of advanced colour change, but um, yeah. That's it going to see you today. We really hope you enjoyed it. Smash the like button, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, peace out.